While online, there are few things more important than protecting your privacy. And that's why we're talking tunnels today. Client-to-site virtual private network connections are very useful since they create a VPN tunnel that allows users to access the network through VPN client software without compromising privacy or security. They're a pretty nifty tool. On this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show how to set up a VPN connection with Greenbow for client-to-site VPN next. To start configuring the VPN, we'll click on VPN and select IPsec Profiles. We'll go ahead and add a new IPsec profile. Here, we can enter all its information. We'll name it green underscore new for this example. For our keying mode, we'll leave it at auto. We're also going to keep the Ike version at Ike version 1. For the phase 1 options, we'll choose our DH group as group 2. Encryption will be AES-128 for this example and our authentication will be SHA-1. For the SA lifetime, we will change it from the default to 86,400. Now on to the phase two options. We'll keep the protocol selection at ESP and change the encryption to AES-128. Authentication will be SHA-1 and we'll leave the SA lifetime at 3600. We've got perfect forward secrecy enabled. Now all we'll do is change the DH group to group 5 1536 bits. Once finished, we'll click Apply to save our changes. Now, we'll head over to client to site and click on Add to create a new tunnel. The first thing we're going to do on this new page is select Third-Party Client. Next, we can enable the tunnel and give it a name. For this example, we'll name it new underscore greenbow. For the interface option, we must choose whichever one we're using for internet connection. In this example, we're using WAN1. The pre-shared key must be the same on the router as well as the client. Here, we'll disable minimum pre-shared key complexity and show our pre-shared key. For this example, we're entering in green123 as our key. Under our local identifier, we should have local WAN IP, and we should be able to see our public IP address. In this example, we cannot see the public IP address, so, we can choose IP address and add our public IP address to our configuration. Our remote identifier will be left as FQDN. We can create the FQDN for the client in the next box. We'll name it greenbowvpn.com. For the pool range, we'll create a private range for the clients. Our starting IP is 10.25.25.1 and the end IP is 10.25.25.30. This allows us to have 30 clients connected to this VPN. Next, we're gonna select the Advanced Settings tab to enter in some more settings. Under IPsec Profile, we're going to select the IPsec profile that we've created, which was green underscore new. Our remote endpoint will be left as dynamic IP. For the local group setup, we'll select subnet for our local IP type and enter in the local subnet for our router. For this example, 192.168.0.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Under mode configuration, we will leave all the settings as default. Now we'll click apply to save the changes. We can now see our new tunnel at the bottom of the table. Great! We have now finished configuring the client site configurations on router 345. It's now time to configure the Greenbow VPN client. We'll start by opening up the Greenbow VPN. Next, we'll need to right click on Ike V1 and select New Phase 1. We should now see the Ike V1 gateway, and we will open that. It's time for some more settings. Our interface will be left as any, and our remote gateway will be the public IP address of our RV router. Next, we'll enter in our pre shared key and confirm it as is and move down to cryptography. The encryption will be AES-128, the authentication will be SHA-1, and finally, the key group will be DH2. Next, we'll move over to the Protocol tab. The local ID under Identity will be DNS. We'll enter in the FQDM that we created on the RV, greenbowvpn.com. We'll then hop down to Mode Config and enable it. We're gonna move right along to the gateway settings. We'll first change the lifetime to 86,400 seconds. For the dead peer connection, or DPD, 
We're going to enter 15 seconds for the check interval. Five is the maximum number of retries, and 15 seconds as the delay between retries. We'll enter two for the retransmission. To save our settings, we'll go to configuration on the top left corner and select save. We're going to right click on IPv1 gateway again and select new phase two. Now we can select IPv1 tunnel. Our address type will be the subnet address and we can enter in the subnet for our RV router. Our encryption will be AES-128. The authentication will be SHA-1 and the mode is tunnel. All right, then we'll enable the PFS and select DH5 for the group. Finally, we can set the IPsec lifetime as 3600. To save these settings, we'll go back to configuration on the top left corner and click save. Now that we've finished with the Greenbow VPN client configuration, we can open the tunnel. We'll right click on Ike V1 tunnel and select open tunnel. When you see the seal, you know it's real. We now have our VPN connected. And that's how to set up a VPN connection with the Greenbow VPN client in the RV340 series switch. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.